today I want to help solve one of the biggest frustrations out there for surface pattern designers, the dreaded white seams you get when you export a pattern tile from Illustrator. I've seen hundreds of different tips and tricks for fixing it involving various different ways of exporting a tile, but what if we could prevent them from happening at all? I'm happy to say I have finally cracked it. To prevent them, we first need to understand what is actually going on. So I have this pattern here in Illustrator, and as you can see in this fill here, it's tiling beautifully. We've got no white lines showing. The thing you might see as you zoom in and out sometimes, I'm just going to change the view from GPU to CPU. And you can see here that as I zoom in and out, we have some white lines showing here, which appear and disappear and change as I zoom in and out. These are not the ones I'm talking about today. These are just a rendering issue. If you don't want to see these at all, you can view using the GPU instead of the CPU. And as I said, those are just a rendering issue. They appear and disappear like that. You don't need to worry about those. They're not really in your pattern and those aren't the ones that we're talking about today. So let's go back to our pattern tile, the one I have here on the artboard, and we're going to export this. I'm going to export it as both a PNG and a JPEG so we can have a look at how those two different file types behave differently. You want to have your resolution set to 300 ppi and if you go into your settings here for PNG make sure you have art optimized selected and the same for JPEG 100 there. You can then save those settings and export those two tiles. I'm now going to open both of these in Photoshop. So let's start with our PNG file. If we come up here to our patterns, we're going to add it as a pattern swatch. I'm going to keep PNG in the name there so we can tell which one's which. And then I'm going to come over to my layers and I'm going to add a layer above this. I'm going to hide this one and let's apply the pattern to this layer. And then we're going to come in and change the scale to 90%. And as we zoom in here, you can see we have that pesky white line creeping in. But the thing is, it's not actually a white line. If I get a color fill layer underneath here, and I change this color to something else, you can see that this white line will change color depending on what we have below it. And that's because this is actually a semi-transparent gap here. Super annoying, right? That was not there until we exported that tile. Let's have a look and see if the JPEG version is any better. So let's go to our pattern swatches. We'll add this one as well. So this one's the JPEG version. And then we'll go back into the file where we have the pattern fill. Check that we're on the right layer. And then we will apply this JPEG tile to it. So with the JPEG version, this line actually is white because the JPEG format doesn't support transparency like the PNG format does. So instead of a semi-transparent line, we have a white line. So what is going on here? Because there were no white or transparent lines around our tile in Illustrator. And the worst part is this is potentially happening to all the files you export from Illustrator without you always knowing unless you check and it will show up on a printed design or a mock-up. I've never fully understood why, but Illustrator incorrectly interprets the pixels on the very edge of the artboards when you export something. A clue to what's going on can be found just here. You might notice that these daisies in Photoshop, they don't have the same gap on them, but the background does. If we go back over into our Illustrator file, you'll see that all of these daisies extend past the edges of the artboard, but the background color doesn't. During the export process, Illustrator is converting a vector image into pixels. Instead of exporting what is literally there, i.e. pink all the way to the edge, it does some kind of filtering and looking at the nearest neighbor, as in what is also this side of it as well, to then decide what these edge pixels should look like. Where we have the pattern carrying on past the edges, it's fine, but where it gets cut off at the edge and has no pixel directly to the other side of it, which you'd think would be fine because it's not part of the area we've selected to export, 
but frustratingly it's adding a bit of nothing to that edge pixel and with a PNG it makes it semi-transparent and with a JPEG which doesn't do transparency it's just plain white. So to get around this annoying problem I'm going to click on my background colour here. I'm going to press Command L to scale and I want to make it just a tiny bit bigger than 100% so it just goes past the edge. And now if we export these again, I'm just going to add a 2 in the file name so we can tell the difference. And then if I open this JPEG one with Photoshop, that one, I'm going to add this as a pattern tile to the swatches like we were before. And then if we come back into this one here where we have our pattern layer set up and we apply it, you can see this new exported tile, this one here where we extended the background past the artboard edges. This one does not have the gap on it, whereas this one, the one we exported with the background cut off at the edges of the artboard, this one does have the gap there. So we can now go and open the PNG file as well, and check that one. Let's open up the PNG file and we can add this one to the swatches. Let's go back into our working document and we can add this one. And as you can see, no problems with the gaps on the PNG file there. So to prevent white lines from happening in the first place, always make sure all the elements of your pattern, so that's all the motifs and the background, are all extending past the edges of the artboard that you're going to export from. And then you should find that you don't get those annoying lines anymore. But what about tiles you've already exported? Is there a way you can fix them? If you've been exporting as JPEGs, then you are going to have to open up the original Illustrator files, fix any elements that aren't going off the edges and then re-export them. But if you've been exporting as PNGs, I have good news for you because there is a way to fix those in Photoshop. So I'm going to go and open the original PNG file again, the one that has the gap in it. And I'm going to use the offset filter. So you come into filter, other and offset. And I'm just going to offset it by 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down. And that's just going to bring every pixel down and across. So where our scene was up here, right on the edge, and we couldn't see it. If we zoom up here, you can see that it's brought the scene down a bit so we can see it. And you can see those lines there. I'm going to add a colour fill underneath so that we can really see what's going on here. So you remember I said that this line was semi-transparent. Well, if we duplicate this layer several times, I'm just going to zoom right in. And if you keep watching, keep watching this line as I duplicate, if we duplicate this enough times, those semi-transparencies will stack up on top of each other and they will eventually become opaque, which effectively gets rid of the gap. So then you can grab all of these layers merge them and if you want to put the tile back in the position it was in then you would need to go to offset again and this time just type in minus 100 or minus whatever numbers you'd put in there in the first place and that will now have lined the tile up with where it was before we mess with it and then if we delete this layer we can now resave the png this is our original one and we're resaving it now minus that hairline gap and to test that we can go back to our patterns add this as a swatch again then let's go to our layers we'll add a layer above let's hide this one underneath and first of all let's add the broken pattern tile so we can see where it's going wrong and we can change the scale to 90% So there we go, we can see where that was broken before. And then if we go to our patterns now, and we apply this latest version, the one that we just added, you can see the gap is no longer there on that. So now you know how to test your Illustrator exported tile for those hairline gaps by checking them in Photoshop. 
you know how to quickly fix a PNG file in Photoshop by duplicating the layers, but best of all, how to prevent it ever happening again. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, then please consider subscribing. And if you want to learn more hacks and tips just like this, then join me over on Skillshare where I'm a top teacher and I have lots of classes packed with helpful content just like this. If you're new to Skillshare, you can even get one month for free when you use the link in my description. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time.